I'm meteorologist Alex Wallace and it's time for your weather headlines. The U.S. ambassador to the Arctic was on hand to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the establishment of a U.S. embassy there. The ambassador announced a new agreement between all Arctic nations to establish a 75,000 square mile sanctuary. The area will be protected from commercial traffic and oil exploration. And take a look at this incredible video. 16 people were injured yesterday aboard the Arctic cruise liner Top of the World when a calving iceberg sent ice chunks barreling toward the passengers. One person aboard the ship said that some chunks of ice were bigger than basketballs. Fortunately, most injuries were minor, but one teenage girl remains hospitalized with a serious head injury. And take a look at this. A new autonomous observing network for sea ice monitoring and prediction has been put in place. This Russian-Canadian partnership will double the current amount of observations that were put in place during the Year of Polar Prediction campaign in 2018. Officials say sea ice monitoring will be more precise and forecasts will become more accurate, which should lead to safer passages. Well, for more on the Arctic forecast, let's bring in Storm Specialist Carl Parker. Thank you, Alex. We do have some weather to tell you about across the Arctic Circle right now. There is a low pressure center that is centered right over northern Canada. And along with that, there will be some wind and increased wave action. There's a look at the satellite picture. You see that spin that is west of Baffin Bay there. And taking a look at the winds right now, they're fairly strong and driving out into the ocean north of Alaska. That's where wave heights are going to be two meters or greater high pressure centered over the Barents Sea. As far as the shipping lanes are concerned, they are generally open. Notice that we might have some issues closer to the North Pole as the ice is beginning to expand there. And we'll take a look also at the forecast for next month. We do expect that central shipping lane right across the North Pole is largely going to be closed by that time as the ice expands while the other ones will not. And here is the forecast for Nuke Greenland. Looking at the Norse Festival should be a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine, 18 degrees. Winds out of the east southeast at 15 to 20 kilometers per hour. Back to you. As you have just seen, climate change will increasingly affect our day to day weather. But we don't have to wait until 2050 to witness its impact. Already today, many parts of the world are experiencing more intense rainfall, floods, storms, heat waves, droughts. We need to minimize these negative impacts, and the best way to do that is to rapidly and significantly reduce our emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. We have the power and the responsibility to create a better future for ourselves and for those to come. But we need action at least at two levels. We need a new robust global climate change agreement, and we need local policy that points us toward green growth and action by investors, industry, cities, and regions. Then we can arrive at a stable, climate-neutral future. Let's work together to make our societies safer and more resilient. Please join me in taking action on climate change. Thank you.